Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, this is API.ai. I'm trying to create a booking chatbot, partly because, well, the uh, booking chatbot that uh, API.ai offers is, I don't think it's ready for prime time yet. It's uh, very thin on details and doesn't have any of the niceties that the other one has, which is small talk, and that gives you a bunch of questions for you to answer. Uh, <clears throat> small talk is, is ready to go. Booking is not. In fact, none of these are ready to go, which is a shame. I hope that API.ai gets their ducks in a row and starts sorting that out. That is not what I wanted to talk about, though. Intents. You want to see, you can see that I've already, or that these have not been tagged. But if we go to the next page, you'll see that it has been tagged. In fact, um, this word, oh, you can see it right here, it's the exact same, I want to go to Seychelles. It's right there, I want to go to Seychelles. But it hasn't picked up that this is the same thing. And I'm beginning to wonder if it's not picking up on it because and it's impacting the ability of the of the agent training to complete itself because it's getting duplicates. I don't know, but if I try to, if I say I want to go to say shells, okay, um, how many people on my trip? I'll say three adults, one child, but then it's going to ask me how many adults again so I go back to my training and see it says unmatched that can't be true because I just had a non match here it didn't match so I cl click on it and now you can see I've got this I'm gonna scroll all the way down again and it picked up on three adults which is Three adults is packs, yes, and one child, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Click add, and again, this is a destination, save it. And I've done this, I don't know how many times. Adults, one child, click save. And this I've done, I've already done, I've done it so many times. Again, it's not saving the work. Two adults, one child, etc., etc. I want to go to Seychelles, destination, and I click the green and I approve it. And somewhere, actually, I get a bug, I get a error. Copy that for the support guys. JS error on editing uh, training. And let me see if I can paste. There we go. All right. Uh, Again, let's try it again. I want to go to Seychelles. And now, how many people? I'm going to say two adults. And it just keeps cycling me through to two, adult, two adults. It should, uh, well, it's got that information. So once the, once the requirements are done, Here are my requirements. I need a booking type. I need a destination. I need adult packs. I need child packs. I should also have dates. Uh, 
let's go ahead and create a date. Create entity, sorry. Arrival date. And I'm sure that the domain tool has all of this already built in, but it's not, uh, I have to dig around in their documentation. Again, they've, uh, they've got a lot, lots of work to do. Arrival date, now let's create arrival. Let's have create entity and departure date. Eve, departure, done, intense, and oh, look at that. Unless I'm missing something, my new entities are not showing up. Uh, At arrival date, okay, that's fine. Require that. And new parameter, departure. Record it. Save. Okay, so I need a prompt. If it's required, which it is, then I can add prompts. Oh, that was weird. When are you arriving? And when are you leaving? Save. Okay. Um, I'm arriving on the third of December. Okay, it says uh, I'm going to say two adults. See, and it just keeps looping on that. I don't know why. Very frustrating. Okay, thanks for watching and happy computing.